the stage, the Colorado State Rams, who were victorious tonight, 67-42 over Virginia. It was the first uh, win for the Rams in the NCAA tournament since 2013. They move on to play Thursday against Texas in Charlotte at 650. Uh, up here, Joel Scott, a double-double, 23 points, 11 rebounds. Neat Clifford, another double-double, 17 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists. Uh, before we get to questions for our student-athletes, uh, head coach uh, Nico Medved joins us. Coach, just your thoughts on on the performance here this evening from your group. I mean, just, just a terrific performance, really, on both ends of the floor um, from the opening tip. Um our guys came with a great edge, a great focus, uh, did a great job of uh, playing together on both ends of the floor. And I thought as the game continued to go on, um, we just continued to, to be fundamentally sound and, and tough-minded. And, you know, listen, I mean, um, we felt like we had an opportunity to, to win here tonight. But, but, but you know, that's a, that's a Hall of Fame coach over there. Uh, that's an incredible program one that I have an unbelievable amount of respect for. And so, you know, I didn't see see this this coming like this way uh, uh, um, tonight at all, um, but I'm pretty pleased. <laughs> so re re really pleased with our guys. I mean, these two young men and our whole guys just brought it tonight and uh, just stayed in the moment. And um, what an incredible win for these guys in our program. Uh, questions for our student athletes first. We'll open up the floor. Let's go to the first row in the middle. Mike Perhorn from CSU Rams. Earlier today, uh, you guys discussed what Virginia's strengths were, their defense. But Coach also implored you to use what he calls your superpowers. Don't you feel like being physical is one of those? And how did you prove that tonight? Joel? <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. I think all year we've been talking about uh, setting the tone phys physically, uh, whether that be in the paint, whatever we're doing defensively, offensively. And I think tonight that really showed up. And I think it needs to carry on throughout the rest of the tournament and on to the next game at least. And so I think we just need to keep setting that tone and keep going, doing our thing. Nick? Also, the way you guys play perimeter defense on their two big shooters. Um, did you and, and uh, Josiah talk a little bit of just the importance of your role in the defense and, and how you could hold them down? Uh, definitely. Those are good players over there. They can really shoot the ball. Uh, so we knew their strengths and knew what we had to do. Me and Josiah have been doing that all year, just trying to motivate each other to keep to start, start the game off right and set the tone defensively, uh, try and just take guys' strengths away. And so I feel like we did that tonight. Other questions for our student athletes? Let's go first row on the end. Damon Cook, Rocky Mountain Collegian. Um, Joel, you had your biggest game in your CSU career in the biggest game of your CSU career. But you're not shy to big moments, obviously. Black Hill State, you led them to the Final Four last year in D2. Did you feel like the lights got brighter tonight, or is it just kind of some of the same? Um, honestly, I think it was just more enjoying the moment. Uh, we're, we're on a big stage, uh, very cool experience. Not everyone gets to do this. And so it's more just enjoying the moment, having fun with it, uh, executing the game plan coaches give us, and trusting your teammates, and again, just having fun and going out there and playing your game. Let's go to the second row on the end. Tyler King with the Denver Gazette. For both of you guys, obviously growing up close to each other in the Pikes Peak area, what does it mean for you guys to both have the games you did on, on this stage and kind of represent where you guys are from and on this stage? Man, it's pretty cool. It's pretty special to be able to play with uh, guys that you grew up with and see, see them be successful as well. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people back home supporting us and sending their love out this way. So we definitely feel feel the love over here and just proud to be able to represent them on the biggest stage. Joel? Yeah, uh, kind of like what Nick said, it's, it's pretty cool to be playing with people you grew up uh, playing against, playing with. I mean, I, we've we've been playing against each other for, shoot, I don't, I don't even remember how long at this point, but uh, him and Javante, so it, it's pretty cool to be able to uh, play play with them now and see them do what they're doing. And, you know, we're, we're not done yet, and it's exciting. And it's cool to have, like Nick said, the support that we do from back home. Let's go to the first row. Kevin Lytle, Colorado. And there was, you know, obviously some surprise with the seedings. Was that any kind of motivation, prove it wrong type of factor or, you know, mindset for you guys all? Or did it not really, you know, play in at all? 
we definitely uh, took it took it a little personal. We felt like we were uh, better than the seed we got, but you know we were super grateful to be a part of the tournament. Um, you know, especially to go against a team uh, like Coach Medved said that has the history that they do. Uh, we were just excited to go against an opponent like that and just be able to prove ourselves and the things that we've been able to do all season. Joel. Yeah, again, pretty much like Nick said, it's just <laughs> well, we're we're excited to be in the tournament. We've worked all year uh, to get here, and so to finally be here, play play someone like Virginia is just it, it's a special opportunity. So it's super exciting to be here and be where we are. Two more questions for our student athletes. Let's go to the second row on the outside. All right, Dion Cash, it ain't weekly. Um, two questions. It felt like it was kind of easy for you guys because they play a slow tempo. Do you think that played to your advantage? And how did it feel to play on the arena, you know, in front of a national audience like this? Joel? Um, I don't think it was easy. I don't think anything against them is easy. Uh, I think we uh, executed uh, Coach's game plan the way, the way he wanted us to, which definitely helped. Um, but I also just think uh, playing playing in an arena like this is special. Uh, I <laughs> I walked in and it just took a moment just to look look around and see all the fans that came out to just watch, and it is just a super cool experience, something you dream of as a kid. Nick, can you repeat the question one more time? My fault. <laughs> just the experience, the arena. Yeah. Um, did you okay. Run? No, nah, like Joe said, it's never easy. Uh, they're a really good team, but I feel like we did execute at a high level, took away their strengths that they're they're really good at, and then we didn't let them take out take us out out of our game plan. Uh, we stuck to what we do and uh, just were confident in that. Third row, Pat Rooney, Boulder Daily Camera, uh, Neek. I haven't watched your career. You know, one of the numbers besides the shooting numbers that, that's jumped out to me is your assist numbers. You had, you had six more today. What do you kind of credit uh, this season for kind of getting that aspect of your game kind of more front and center this year? Shoot, credit my teammates for making shots. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I wouldn't be able to get assists if they didn't make shots, so I'll just give the credit to them. Um, and then the coach is just putting me in uh, perfect situations to be able to make plays and um, distribute the ball. Neek, Joel, it was a fantastic showing. Congratulations. A historic season continues. And uh, best of luck uh, on Thursday. Safe travels. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, John. All right. Let's, uh, let's open up the floor. Let's go first row here in the middle uh, with questions for Coach Medved. Nico, were you almost as impressed with just how persistent your team was, not just offensively and waiting to get the shot you wanted, but defensively and continuing to apply pressure? Yeah, you know, one of the things we we talked about, and, and again, I don't want to keep gushing about Tony and his team, but, you know, they're one of the slowest, not the slowest playing team offensively in the country. But if you look at us, uh, we're one of the top two in the country on defensive tempo, meaning we force teams to play late in the shot clock. So like I told our guys, that's nothing new for us. That's what we do every day. We're not afraid to guard for long periods of time in the half court. And so I think we felt comfortable in those situations defensively. Uh, um, so our guys, I thought, stayed really, really disciplined, communicated well. And our mindset tonight is we were just wanted to grind out possessions, just grind it out on both ends of the floor um, because that's the kind of game that it was. And so um, I think that's something that we practice, and we had that mindset, and I thought our guys executed it beautifully. A second row on the end. Yeah, Nico, Adam Rittenberg with ESPN. I think they went scoreless for about almost 14 minutes. It was like an hour of real time. What, what kind of went into that from your end, and what does that do to an opponent when it's just that long without scoring in a big game? Well, you know, they're used to doing that to opponents. You know, they've kind of made a living on, on, on doing that. You know, I, I, again, um, I, as you say that, I didn't realize it at the time. It was just uh, our guys did a great job, I thought, of challenging shooters, uh, defeating screens, uh, helping appropriately in the lane, helping the helper. Uh, when they got into the paint, we did a great job of challenging without fouling. Uh, and we held them to one shot for the, for, for, for the most part. And so that's a pretty good recipe uh, um, right there. And we tried to make them take difficult shots. And I thought for the most part, um, we were able to do that. First row. Coach Caleb Allen, KCSU. And 
Over your three wins in the last week, it's been different guys. It hasn't been Isaiah Stevens beating or leading the charge. It's been Jalen Lake, Joe Palmer. Tonight it was Neek and Joel. How important is it for you to get those guys going, not just last week, but heading into this tournament, especially when Zay hasn't played as well? No, it's, it's huge. And I, again, I, you know, we talked a lot about, you know, trusting our training and, 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 and trusting ourselves. And again, you look at our team and what has been some of our strengths and it's been it's for a while, high assists, low turnovers, you know, we're one of the top teams in the country in assist rates. So what does that mean? Our baskets come off assisted field goals and that sharing the ball, playing it to the next guy. And against this team tonight, if you want to try to play one-on-one -on -one against Virginia, you've got no chance. Um, and our guys bought into it. I explained to him today at shooter on, I'm like, listen, no one, it's not about getting frustrated at all if no one's, if you're not getting a shot or you're not getting your averages. We just play the way we want to play. And it ended up being certain guys night. Neek did a great job tonight of driving closeouts, getting in the lane, attacking when they loaded. I mean, obviously Isaiah draws a ton of attention, but he didn't panic at all. He just played the right way like he, like he does. And then obviously Joel Scott got it going inside, but just a tremendous job by our guys of just playing the way we wanted to play. Let's go to the fifth row in the back. Barber, Richmond Times Dispatch. I'm, I'm curious, your defense on Beekman was very solid. Did it help that the outside guys weren't hitting shots to allow you to sort of do a little bit of packing it in yourselves? Oh, of course. I mean, Beekman's an, just a terrific player. I mean, on both ends of the ball. Just a tremendous amount of respect watching watching his game, you know, throughout the year. Yeah, we were able to do a good job of, you know, trying to stay in front of him or keep a chest in front of him in the lane. And um, they did miss some, some some good looks, but I also thought we did a really good job of challenging shooters too. I thought we did a good job of closing out uh, um, and making it difficult on those guys. But he's such a good player. And, and when he put the ball on the floor in the lane, you know, we didn't step up too early and over help because he's such an elite passer. And if you do that, he's going to find the open guy. And Tried to make him a finisher as best we could, and uh, um, he's good at that too. But it but it ended up over the long run paying off for us. Unfortunately, we only have 12 minutes with Colorado State. Last question is going to be uh, first row here on the end. Nico, after the selection, so Sunday, you kind of addressed the room and said a lot of these teams and these play-ins kind of create momentum and go on big runs. Could tonight have gone any more perfectly for kind of building that foundation for potential momentum heading into? Well, I, I tell you what, it's hard to imagine tonight going any better for us, but I'm just so proud of our guys, the way they've handled the last 48 hours. Um, it's just been incredible. The preparation, the travel, uh, uh, um, the mentally having to, to, to change, you know, from Selection Sunday to now, they've just done a beautiful job, and their mindset is just thankfulness, grateful to be here, playing the greatest tournament in the world. And I told the guys today, listen, only 9% of the teams get an at-large bid. <laughs> So that's pretty special to do that. So let's go play. And we did tonight, and now we're excited about the next one. We get to go on a plane to Charlotte here, and we get ready for Texas on Thursday. 25 and 10, uh, 6.50 the tip time on Thursday. Coach, uh, it's been a joy having you here in Dayton. Thank you so much. Best of luck Thank on you. Thursday.